Very good morning, children. I'm back again with English recorded classes. This is my manner, your English teacher. Children, hope you all are studying and also updating your classwork and homework. And do you all know that you have to submit your classwork and homework at school for correction? Please see that you all underline every answer neatly and also write the index, children. All right. So let's get started for today's session then. Before we start off with today's session, here's today's content for you all. We'll quickly do a recap of what we learned in the previous class. Then we'll continue with the lesson, The Grateful Tenant. We'll look into some vocabulary as usual. And then of course, your questionnaire. And we will summarize all what we have learned. And then comes your assignment. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned in the previous session. In the previous session, we saw how Ramesh and his friend were going for a morning walk. And Ramesh's friend saw a nameplate on Ramesh's door which had Sham Kamal in it. So he questions him, what is Sham Kamal means? So he says, Ramesh says, it is the name of two people who changed his life and he still remembers and thanks them every day and Ramesh said Sham Kamal stands for Shamara and Kamala and then he asked his friend do you remember when I was in Tarwar I used to stay with an old couple and I remember that they were very elderly and they used to rent their house for college students and Ramesh also said that he stayed there for six years and he also told his friend how these two people supported him wholeheartedly in all his decision and they even paid his fees when he was late to pay and Shamra used to get him paid us while Kamla Bar used to give her meals to him and he was so grateful to them that he wouldn't forget them so we learned till here right and we also looked into some synonyms word meanings correct children and we also did learn how to find out what are action words correct so we learned till here so let's continue with today's lesson kindly turn to page 32 children Now while I'm reading, I want you all to toss your fingers through so that you also will be along with me while I'm reading. Page 32. But you used to run errands for them and do odd jobs like going to the post office, buying fruit and vegetables, watering the plants and pumping the water out of the tank. In fact, we used to call you their man Friday behind your back I replied I don't agree with that said Ramesh think of the old couple they were not well off but they went out of their way to help me without their help I don't know whether I would have been today but why did you name the house after them I went back to my original question Turn to page 33 children. Turn to page 33 children. It was my father's suggestion. He said, there are some people who do things out of affection and not just out of duty. And they change your life with love and generosity. Even my children should know their origins of my success. I also want them to understand the gratitude I feel towards Shamarao and Kamalabai, not through mere words, but through actions. It is people like Ramesh who reaffirm our faith in humanity. Children, I've read the lesson for you all. Alright, 
Now what I will do, you will mark all the new words, alright, and write it in your rough book. This is homework number one, okay. So in today's lesson, we saw how Ramesh's friend is asking him, why did you do odd jobs for them? Odd job means something which was not required, like going to the post office for them, buying vegetables for them, washing their plants, and even pumping out the water from the tank. And his friend also told him that they used to call him Man Friday behind his back. Behind his back means when he's not there. And Man Friday means that they used to tell or call Ramesh as Shamra's right hand or helper. So then Ramesh says, I don't agree with that because they were very old people and they were not well off. Okay, they were not so well to do, but still they helped me without even asking or without even hesitating. They helped me in everything that I could. And he also says, Ramesh tells his friend, today if I am in this position, it is only because of them. So then immediately his friend asks him, then why did you keep their name to your house? He comes back again to the old question. So immediately Ramesh says, it was not my decision, it was his father's decision. Why? Because his father told him that there are some people who do things out of affection. Correct, right? Some people think it is their duty and help you all. But some, they come out of the way. Even if you don't ask them for help, they come and help you, isn't it? That is true love and affection. And they change your life. Even there will be so many people who, who have really changed your life, children. If not many, at least one, if you can recall. Someone, it, it might be your grandparents, it might be your uncle, sometimes apart from your parents, okay? Sometimes it, it could be your teachers also in school, okay? If any of the teacher has impressed you or any of the teacher has advised you and you have changed, correct? So out of love and affection, there'll be someone who not apart from their duty will do it wholeheartedly. And uh, Shamrao says, even my children should know how we were in the past and they should also feel the gratitude towards people and they also should feel that there are people like Shamrao and Kamlabai not only by words but they help by action as well and it is people like them that we still have faith in humanity so what do you learn from this lesson children never be ungrateful to anyone who has helped you always be grateful children let it be your parents your grandparents your teachers you must always be grateful because the people who show you true love and affection you must respect them okay so today from this lesson you all learned what is gratitude and you all learned how to be grateful correct Now let's look at some synonyms which are similar words. Errands, job, man Friday, assistance, suggestion, idea, origin, ancestor, gratitude, thanks. Children, today we will see how to frame sentences as an action word and as a naming word. We'll take the first sentence which is change. Maria changed her bag which means she changed her bag which is the action. So that becomes a action word. People have seen a great change in him. That becomes the change over here becomes the naming word. Let's look at the second sentence. Share. My friend shares her lunch every day with me. Here the shares becomes the action word and the second one my mother got her share in her father's property becomes the naming word so now do you all know how to frame word 
as an action word and also a naming word clear children any doubts please go to this video again or just call me and clarify your doubts and now it's question time i always wait for this part of the session to come because i love asking questions to you all but i'm not very impressed with people who are not answering children only a few take the effort of typing in the answers and sending and the others don't even bother so i want all those who are watching this video to make an effort to try and answer the questions that i'm asking now the first question what name was given to ramesh by his friends what was the name given to ramesh by his friends the second one what kind of help did ramesh do to the couple what kind of help did ramesh do to the couple why did ramesh put up sham sham kamal as his name plate why did ramesh put up sham kamal as his name plate and what did ramesh want his children to know what did ramesh want his children to know and i want you all to tell me the meaning of man friday the meaning of man friday let me see who will be the first one to type the answer and send it to me and get a round of applause in the group all the best children before we wind up children let's quickly do a recap of what we learnt in today's class we completed the lesson the grateful tenant on page 32 and 33 I did explain the lesson for you all. We looked into some synonyms which are similar words. Then we learned how to frame a sentence, okay, with a word which has two meanings, as an action word and also as a naming word, correct? And now we come to the end of our slide, which is the assignment as usual. children i taught you all how to frame sentences for a word which has two meanings which is as an action word and as a naming word all right so you will have to do the same thing over here like how i did framing sentence for as an action word and as a naming word now for these sentences for love name and question you will do the same thing you will frame sentence as an action word and as a naming word if you have any doubts go to the slide and still if you are confused feel free to always message me or call me and i will explain it to you now comes your class work children i will be sending notes via whatsapp which you will have to neatly copy down in your class workbooks see that you do not overwrite and wherever i have underlined see that you do the same and i request you all to start updating your class work and homework neatly see that you submit your books on time and afterwards once the date is over if you all give your books it's of no use because we will not be able to correct it only in that given period of time teachers will be there to correct your book and give it back to you all so please see that you all update your index and also update your diary as well children and if you have not written any of the notes and if you don't have any of the lesson notes please ask me i will definitely send it to you all so that you can complete your class work your grammar class work and your english class work and also children i have sent the fa marks for most of you all fa1 and sa1 marks 
for those of you who didn't receive it or for those of you uh, who want to know what your marks are please send me a message and i will definitely go ahead and send your fa1 marks until we meet in the next class this is ma'am anna signing off take care bye bye